Can you ask for a skinny person in a job ad? Or can you ask for a woman in a job ad or someone very beautiful? Can you say, no ugly people apply? In recent weeks, shops both here and in Australia have been called out for getting too specific when it comes to job advertisements, calling only for applicants with very specific measurements. So what can an employer ask for uh, in an employee when they're placing a job ad? What can you do if you think they're behaving unfairly if you think the person they're asking for doesn't fit your measurements? Anthony Harper, employment lawyer, Jennifer Mills, joins us with the answer to those questions. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. Good Good to have you back again. Um, All right, let's talk about the sort of things, uh, the reason we're having this conversation firstly is because, and we'll mention one of the employers, Lorna Jane in Australia. They advertised for a receptionist model and in the ad they clearly stipulated the measurements, the bust size, the waist, the hips and the height and basically said, if those measurements are not you, do not apply. That's right. So um, a bust of 90 centimetres and hips of no more than 100 100 centimetres. The role, though, was for a a fit model and a receptionist. And the question is, um, will that offend against the discrimination laws in Australia? Um, And the answer is, um, initially on it, at first blush, you might think that it's uh, discrimination on the basis of sex, but there is an exception for models. So um, for a model-based role, you can ask for certain physical characteristics. And in reality, there are a couple of exceptions, both in Australia and New Zealand employment law, aren't they? When you're putting a a job ad together, um, and one of the ones that you cite is uh, cleaners, for instance, um, for for cleaning uh, toilets. That's right. So, um, so in terms of gender specific, you may want to have a female clean um, female toilets, and that's um, okay. And 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 that's okay because there is a, a genuine, <clears throat> excuse me, occupational qualification or requirement. Um, the Lorna Jane ad, though, also had a receptionist component to the role, um, which perhaps may have taken it into a grey area. Muddied but the waters a bit. Muddied the waters a bit. That's right, Paul. But in the round, I think that it it, it was unlikely to uh, offend against uh, Australian laws. And the position is the same in New Zealand. So the starting point is that you can't discriminate on the basis of sex, but if there's a genuine occupational requirement, um, for example, a model, then you can ask specific things. Right. So basically the things that you can't discriminate on, age, sex, race, colour or ethnicity, religious or ethnic beliefs, um, sexual orientation, disability, marital status, family status, political opinions. So basically those things you can't discriminate on. Absolutely. Um, But there is a genuine occupational... um, exception for age and sex. Which makes sense in reality because if you wanted a model and you know the sort of model that you have to have, you are wasting people's time by allowing people who you know will not fit that requirement in. Absolutely right. But what's interesting also is that we don't have um, the ugly anti-discrimination laws in New Zealand. So this is where New Zealand and Australia differ because in Australia um, their employment law actually covers physical features. But in New Zealand, as long as you don't discriminate against any of those things I mentioned, you could actually say no ugly people should apply. That's right. So in the state of Victoria, you cannot say no ugly people need apply, but in New Zealand, you absolutely can, provided you don't indirectly discriminate on the grounds of sex, race, disability. So as long as they're not ugly because of disability or any of those other things, if they're just basically ugly... Because a lot of people wouldn't want ugly people working for them. Well, no, no, that's right, and I'm sure Lorna Jane wouldn't either. No, no. I mean, they've gone further, obviously, by stipulating breast size. <laughs> but um, that's interesting, isn't it? I mean, has that ever been tested in, well, we, in New Zealand? Well, we haven't seen the cases. So um, in the 90s, employers used to get it wrong. Um, I think employers are a lot more savvy um, these days and don't tend to ask the wrong questions in mm. their job ads. And now as a result interviews. of social media, of course, if you fail the put footpath in an advertisement, then obviously people will gang up on you and it's just <laughs> not worth doing. Right. Yeah, it's just not worth doing. Uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Jennifer Mills, Employment Law Specialist.